Hello everyone, Wreckabilly here. Today I have a pretty cool invention to show you. This is automatically planted saplings. I need to get out of here. I upped the uh, tick rate so that you can see it work extremely quickly. But as soon as they are on the floor like this, you'll start seeing them get planted. Now they do need to be on grass blocks or else this wouldn't work, but it's pretty dang cool. So let's go ahead and wait until we see one of these get planted. There we go, we got one planted and now we'll see it grow. Perfect. And you can see that it does take a little while. Sometimes it's quick, sometimes it's slow. And they don't all get planted at the same time. Of course, this also means that, of course, um, we'll be able to do other trees, like we can do spruce, and that one will get planted. There we go, and then we can do birch, multiple birch if you want, jungle, acacia. We can even do dark oak, but dark oak, of course, needs to be planted in a four or a two by two. So sometimes they they grow, sometimes they don't. We'll keep an eye on that one. But let's just hang out right here. You can see them all get planted. There's a birch over there, then another birch. Oh, this one grew. There's the acacia, cool. We got the jungle tree grown, pretty awesome. Oh, this is about to grow. There we go, that's pretty cool. That's pre it's a very derpy tree, but it's pretty dang cool. I really like this. This is something that I've been wanting in survival for a long time. Um, but of course, we don't always get what we want, so I decided, hey, I'll make it myself. Alright, so how about I explain how this all works. So basically, we have a clock here that is constantly running at a very fast rate. And we have a command here that is setting a score for this specific type of sapling. Um, to tree zero. Now tree is a dummy objective that I've added in um, and it's setting the score to zero if it is an oak sapling and then it goes down the line. One I believe is is, uh, is let me see what is one? A spruce then two it just basically goes by the damage value of the sapling types and it goes all the way down for each type of sapling. Um, right here we have a randomizer clock basically going. We got a hopper clock that is constantly sending one of these items in to this hopper. Every time the sword gets sent through, it sends a signal strong enough to reach the repeater, which will then power these command blocks. So basic randomizer, very simple to do. And then in here, we have a command that is executing at the sapling with that specific score. It is detecting if there is a grass block beneath it, and then it is setting that specific sapling um, in its place. Now, these commands over here are actually killing that item, so execute at E time, oh, whose score tree equals zero or all the way up, depending on the vet damage value. It is detecting if there is a sapling in its place, and if there is, then it's gonna kill that specific sapling. So here's an example of what I mean. If I toss down an item on the floor, whoa, that planted quickly. If I toss down the item and then I place a sapling in its spot, you will see the item is actually deleted. So that's how it works. It deletes, oh, deletes the item once there is a sapling in its spot. So yeah, that's basically how it works. Pretty cool stuff. If you like this, you can go ahead and download it. Again, I do have a schematic for you in the description below. And yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye.